Hello, this is Nick from BIMPure, and in this video, we're checking out the new features in the new Pyrivit free add-in version 5.3.1. The first interesting new feature is the ability to export and import schedules. So if you go to edit and go down to export parameters to Excel, let's select this one, and we can pick any schedules in the project. In this example, let's pick the door schedule. We select it and select the folder where to export it. So something important to notice, you can see small differences in between the schedule that we did export and the one inside of Excel. First, they've added this element ID column and the schedule only include instance parameters that can be modified. You can see some of them are missing, such as height and width, but we can modify the finish and uh, frame parameters directly in Excel. Uh, let's save and then let's go back inside of PyRivet to edit and import the parameters for Excel. Let's select the Excel file we did export and you can see the schedule is automatically updated. When using the export parameters to Excel, you can hold the shift key and click and this gives you access to more options. For example, instead of exporting a specific schedule, you could export the selection, for example. So we have two doors selected. So uh, let's check it out. Actually, it's from the same type. So I can accept that. And then I can select which parameter I want to export. I pick a few of them. And uh, yeah, then I can save to a new Excel file. Let's try to open it. And you can see a similar schedule with both of the doors that we did select. Next is show view range, which already existed in the previous version, but has been greatly improved. So this allows you to show the view range of a specific view inside of a 3D view to help you understand and visualize better. So in this case, it says, please select a plan or section view in the project browser. So I can select the level one, for example, and I can see the top plane and the cut plane uh, on this 3D view. And then I could switch to uh, another view. So this is another level one view. Then I could switch to level two. We can see all of the planes. And what's nice, you can even adjust them directly inside of this 3D view and apply the changes. So very helpful if you want to modify the view range of multiple views while having a good way to visualize them. Next on the list is the section box navigator. This allows you to have more control over 3D views with a section box. For example, you can link the top and bottom of the section box to specific levels. So if I click uh, top with the arrow, you can see it tries to find the next level on the list. So currently it is at the roof level. So you can click a few times, to toggle through the different level. Uh, same thing for uh, the, the bottom of the section box. We can go to a few different options. So you can even nudge a little bit. For example, you want to put it higher by an increment of a thousand millimeter. You can click a few times like that. And uh, also you can shrink uh, the controls. So if I, let's say 600, and this will make the whole box bigger instead of nudging on a specific direction or even shrink it. And you have a few more options. You can even align with 2D views. Overall, it just gives you more option to control section box and 3D views. Next is relink textures. So if you go to the edit drop down menu, the tool is right here. And basically, this is to replace all the missing images in your materials, which is very common and annoying. So you must select a folder where Revit is going to search and try to replace all the images. What's nice, you can actually select an entire drive, like the C drive, to search through the entire thing. However, uh, you need to be patient. This might take multiple minutes, so I won't actually do it because I don't want to crash my computer. But if you have a lot of missing images, try out this tool. The final new tool is called copy the values of several parameters to a chosen parameter. So let me explain what this does exactly. When you open the tool, you get this menu. First, you must select a category. In this case, let's select the doors. And basically, it allows you to combine multiple parameter values and push them to specific parameters, the kind of task that I used to do with Dynamo to be quite honest. So let me give you an example. We could, for example, pick uh, the level and the mark. You can select multiple source parameters and then you must select the target parameter. So in this case, normally I would create a new one because I'm lazy. I will just pick uh, comments and then you can select a separator to be used. So for example, we could set underscore. 
then you can decide if you want spaces or not let's say uh, none and then i will click on execute and this has been applied to all six doors in my project so if i select uh, this door, you can see that in the comments, it now reads level one underscore 102, which is the door mark and the level of the door. In addition, there are a few more improvements I will include in the description of the video, a link to view the complete release notes. Thanks to the entire PyRivet team, more specifically to Jean-Marc Fin for this great release. Remember that PyRivet is made by volunteers, so feel free to go to their website and donate to support the team. If you want more BIM, AI, and AC tech videos, please subscribe to our channel. BIMPure includes everything to make BIM less painful at your firm. Get self-paced courses from beginners to advanced. Download our pro template for Revit to keep your projects organized. Use our Revit doors and windows collection for powerful, flexible, and intuitive families. Watch standalone lessons on emerging technology at the intersection of BIM and AI. Attend live masterclasses to get direct help from BIM experts. Our new BIM Manager Journey Live course with Slantis includes strategy on how to be an efficient BIM manager, including advanced Notion setup. Enroll now and unlock all content at bimpure.com.